Okay, now that we've got our setup done, we know we have our references in place. Let's go ahead and start working on our modeling techniques. So if we look at our models, our structural, plumbing, and mechanical, these are all modeled in true position per our standard workflow. They're modeled in a specific position. Well, that position seems to have changed since we did our initial room layout back in the previous submittal of this project. So now, not only do we need to move our layout into space in the two dimensions, we need to move it into the third dimension as well is now our original 2D that was modeled down at zero it needs to be moved so we can model appropriately. There's two ways to do this. Within the references window itself, you can use the move rotate commands. Or what we can do is select our reference and we're going to use this button here treat attachment as element for manipulation this allows us to use the standard move copy and every and commands outside of the reference window it makes life a little bit easier because you're not having to come back up there into the references window to make those changes you can do it all while still being able to see your screen so let's go ahead and turn that on we will have to come back in here and turn that off to continue modeling after we get it moved into position. So we need to find a easily identifiable point in 3D that we can recognize in 2D. So if we look, we have a very distinct corner here in the 2D that has been carried over into the 3D. So we are going to select our reference and you'll notice that when we click on it it selects all of the line work in the reference. So we, let's go ahead and go up here. We're going to move from that corner to that corner. And now what we've done is not only moving it laterally, we have moved it vertically. And we're now closer to where we need to be. Now, as we're looking at this, we, it's pretty clear we need to rotate as well. Now when things are set up square, it's very easy to just sit here and rotate this by a given angle. In this case, we likely we would just need to rotate, the, rotate this 90 degrees in the counterclockwise direction. But since we don't truthfully know that this is a full you know, right angle model, we're going to use three points. standard three-point rotate, so we select our fulcrum, the point we want to match up, and then the corresponding point. And we're now rotated. Uh, and it looks like we're not quite lined up right. We're close though. It's fine because we can move this accordingly. Now our walls are lined up, the footing is lined up. Let me check a couple of points and make sure everything's aligned appropriately. So our doors are hitting the appropriate openings. I think we are good. So the other thing we did in moving there 
our model now sits at the ground floor, or not our model, our 2D layout we did previously, now sits on the ground floor of this building where we would typically start to model our equipment. So instead of having to model stuff and move it continually, anything that we're going to model at floor height on at finished floor is going to be in proper location. And this saves us a lot of time because using tentative snaps we can now model at the appropriate level which in this case is shown as 342 feet 6 inches above sea level. So that saves us a couple of steps. Now we've got everything lined up at this point, I would typically go ahead and turn off the rest of the references. Because for the time being, I don't really care about anybody else. I just want to get my equipment into place. Once we have our initial layout pulled into the 3D space, we will go back in, turn on those references, and we'll start coordinating things to make sure that going from that 2D to 3D, we didn't create any unknown or unforeseen uh, conflicts with the other disciplines. And that will be the next video.